Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. This is episode number 61, kicking things off with a Hespori and hoping to get the bucket. Not this time, but Celestra Seed. I guess that's a, a decent enough reward. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the episode. Elite Clue, and that's pretty trash. Well, that's my first uh, rare drop from Grotesque Guardians, Granite Hammer at KC23. Um, I don't really have a use for that, but I can just drop the Rock Hammer from my bank, so it's not going to take up um, a bank space that I would have used otherwise, so not bad. I mean, the only thing I really want is the core, so hoping I can get lucky on that. All right, this is Hespori number 35, so if I don't get it now, I am dry for the bucket. And yes, I am dry for the bucket, which didn't want to happen, but it has happened. Hopefully I get it soon. All right, got an elite clue from Grotesque Guardians. What can we get? Pretty average reward. How much is that? 200K. Hey, a pair of dragon plate legs from Wyverns. Um, I always record these just because the drop rate is higher than if you get to get it from like Vorkath or something. But um, yeah, nice to see. Oh, Bandos Playbody. That is for a master clue step, I believe. Um, I think that's the one where you need the Bandos God Sword and possibly Bandos Boots as well. I'm not too sure if the boots are a requirement, but I definitely don't have those, so that's pretty good. Dragon Plate Legs from Steel Dragon this time, so uh, in one day. Had them from Wyverns and from Steels as well. So I completely ran out of prayer potions and figured I may as well do a bit of herb lore because I've got an awful lot of herbs stacked up in the bank as you can see from what I've got in my inventory. Um, these aren't actually all of the herbs that I've got, they're only the ones that I have the corresponding secondaries for already. Um, or the irrits, obviously the uh, eyes of newt are very easy to get just because I didn't want to spend a lot of time collecting secondaries. Um, this is actually going to get me 95 herb lore. Um, I don't have the tour stores in my inventory, but I'll probably do a thousand or so super combats. Um, it will take me a while to get through all of these, but um, it's a decent chunk of um, Herb Law XP, obviously. Um, so we've got magic potions that I'm going to be doing, a few ranging pots, uh, Sara Brews, super defense, super strength, super attack, prayer potions, of course, and then some super combats. Um, so we will just make these into unfinished potions. Only three mil, not too bad. Let's get to work. And that is 92, halfway to 99, and three levels left to go of this uh, little training session, because I will be getting up to 95. And that is 93. There is 94. There we go, that is 95 Herb Lore. Um, I did miscalculate uh, my XP slightly, only by about 30k. Um, so I did need to do some serums, um, but overall that was uh, that was not too bad. Over 200 mil total XP, which is pretty cool, and I can make every potion now. Um, getting a plus three boost if I ever wanted to make extended super antifires wouldn't be an issue. Um, and that's a pretty cool level. Herb lore is so quick. Like it's just obviously collecting the uh, herbs and secondaries. So once you've got those, those levels absolutely fly by got an occult necklace. Um, not too sure how many of those I've got now, but they're always nice to see. I think they're a 1 in 512 drop off the uh, regular smoke devils. Um, this task actually really decent defense XP when you're casting Ancients on defense if it's over 100k an hour. I'm probably slacking a bit as well, so it's a decent task for me to be doing at the moment as I'm not too far off uh, 99 attack and defense. I do want to finish that off this video hopefully. That dropped on the floor, and I'm not going to lie, for a second, just for a second, I thought perhaps that was a visage, but of course it's not. Shield left half, that's pretty rare, I'll take it. I cannot believe I just got an unsired. I got um, a boss task of Abyssal Sire, and I figured I would just do three because I kind of want to rush out 99 attack and defense. This is my third unsired, so I've got one bludgeon piece and one Abyssal Dagger so far. If I do get a second Bludgeon piece, I will be quite motivated actually to come back and do some more Sire um, once I get an Abyssal Demon task. Um, I would like to get the Bludgeon, but it's not my favorite boss. 
Uh, let's see what we get. Oh man, it's my second Abbey Dagger from an unsired. That's uh, that's unfortunate. All right, well, it is finally time to get 99 attack and defense. I honestly didn't think that I would get 99 Slayer before um, reaching these two levels. But there we go, big fireworks, two levels, and 124 combat as well. So that's pretty nice. And going forward, my Slayer training can just focus on boss tasks, essentially, and um, things that I want to kill for drops rather than for melee XP. Um, I think I probably have 125 combat banked. Well, I definitely do. I think I've got like 95 or 96 prayer banked in bones, which is really nice. I'm not going to bother picking up the capes because I don't think um, they're worth using a bank space. I don't think the special effect of either of those is uh, pretty worthwhile for me. Um, but yeah, nice to finally knock those two out. Spotted a lucky impling while doing some medium clues. That's pretty random. Um, see if we can get anything good. Dragon Mace, yeah, not too bad. Wow, that's a pretty... I didn't even realise that was three unique items there. I don't think I have any of those, so that's pretty cool. Alright, this is Hespori number 40. What can we get? Oh, yes, the bucket, finally! Um, yeah, that took a little bit longer than I expected, but very pleased to have that. That's going to make... Um, Herb runs a little bit more convenient, and um, I mean they boosted the uh, ash that you can mine, um, but that's just a little extra convenience, I guess. All right, this is medium clue number two hundred and fifty. Nothing good there. I think my plan is to get up to three hundred for the rest of this episode. Um, probably do something else afterwards. I've got a cow fight task. I'm quite keen to do some cow fight queen, um, but do want to knock out some more mediums. Ooh, Master Clue. Let's give that a go. All right, managed to complete the Master Clue. What can we get? Uh, what's that? 350k rune bars and the Limpwit roots are decent, I suppose, but nothing too special there. Ooh, we got ourselves another Master Clue. Um, and that Myth Full Helm is definitely a unique. So one step closer to fling out uh, the space in the house and hopefully we can do this. All right, managed to complete the master clue. What can we get? That's not, I don't think that's rare. Um, 19 masters done, just under 300K. That's a decent amount of nature runes. I will take it. That is a really green, green looking clue, but no rangers, how unfortunate. The following clip has been rated O for overreaction. Oh my god, I fucking got one! Yes! Come on! Fucking Ranger Boots, 277 medium clues. Oh, I've had that crystal for so long. I'm so glad that I don't have to continue grinding. Oh, let's put these on straight away. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Brilliant. All right, so now that I have calmed down, 277 medium clues. I feel that's roughly on the drop rate or perhaps a little bit below. So I can't complain about um, how many I've had to do. Certainly not. Um, I'm just very relieved that I don't have to do any more. And um, yeah, I, I can't believe how much they're worth, to be honest. 34 and a half mil, pretty ridiculous. With all that being said though, I think that is the perfect place to end the episode. I can't really think of uh, a better way to round things off than getting Ranger Boots. Um, so we will leave it at that, I think, for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. In terms of the next episode, I feel like I'm at a bit of a crossroads because having now um, finally reached 99 attack and defense, I'm not too sure if I want to continue with Slayer for the time being or take a break and look at possibly doing some skilling. Um, there are a few skills that I've been looking at training up and it would be useful uh, maybe to stop and have a look at those. Um, so smithing could be one to get up to 89 or 90 to be able to make rune darts, which will actually be useful for bossing. Um, construction, I've got 
pretty much 99 banked. I don't know if I want to do all of that at once, obviously, but even just getting up to uh, 90 so that I can build master stash units and uh, combine the spirit tree and fairy ring, that could be quite useful. Um, even room crafting um, for the achievement diary. Um, that's on the cards as well. We shall see. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Would you prefer uh, an episode of skilling or bossing? I imagine bossing and slayer might be a bit more popular, but um, I'd be curious to hear what you guys think. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching and hopefully see you in time for the next episode. Take care.